Mass arrests in Minnesota where a second night of violence has erupted over the deadly shooting of Dante Wright and police arresting more than 50 protesters and looters, some of who attacked police while a TV reporter was forced to flee on air. Watch this. And as we were filming, this happened. A very tense uh, standoff between protesters and police. And as you can hear, several gunshots. Now! Now! All right, meanwhile, the veteran police officer who shot Dante Wright has now resigned after she allegedly confused her gun for a taser. The police chief, Tim Gannon, has also stepped down tonight, Sean. Yeah, plus there's a lot of other breaking news. Uh, you know, we've been talking about this all day. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine, it's yeah. one of the three that people get. It's the one that you only need one of. The CDC actually is pausing it now over reports of potentially dangerous but very rare blood clots and uh, and also going on here in the nation's capital. The Biden administration continues to ramp up this pitch that it's making for so going on here in the nation's capital. The Biden administration continues to ramp up this pitch that it's making for so-called infrastructure as Democrats. Check this out. This is I, I we've talked about this a lot, but but now it's not just redefining immigration. I mean, infrastructure. They're now asking that immigration yeah. be put in this bill. I mean, this is getting crazier by the day. First, we changed the definition of what infrastructure is. Now we're saying that we're actually going to do infrastructure, excuse me, immigration in the infrastructure bill. I don't know why they're even doing a budget, because they should just do it all right now. Just I mean, add it in the infrastructure. Add it in there, it's for just humans, yeah. so just throw it I in don't, there. By the end of this week, like what is considered infrastructure mm. is going to be completely different than the week that we started. Oh, absolutely. And, and when you change the term, Sean, to your point, you can throw anything in there uh, and when you're expanding things, because why not? Yeah, why not? But it, 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 the thing that I find so fascinating is after four years of hearing about lying and and exaggerating. You literally have people talking about changing the definition of words, right. of words, and no one thinks that's a problem. Well, because we're evolving, Sean. That's we're why. evolving. Yeah, we're evolving in like the matter of a week. But the idea, and we're going to talk about this later in the show. I mean, people are now saying child care is infrastructure. Yeah. Like at some point, someone just goes, no, it's not. If you want to have a discussion about child care, have a discussion about child care. But this is insane. And the idea that the press corps is looking at it going, okay, good point, we'll just change the definition. <laughs> that what, what is going on? These same people who call me liars all the time are now sitting around going, okay, well, we got a new definition of infrastructure. Oh, change it again today. And no one thinks that's an issue? Well, the thing, and I've said this before, but that really bothers me, and I just don't understand the strategy from the left here, if they would strictly do an infrastructure bill, it would pass through Congress probably yeah, pretty easily. But they know that, and that's the problem, is that so then attach everything to it. It's like a Christmas tree just hanging more ornaments on it. But here's the question I have. What happens when you want to do a child care bill down the road? Correct. You go, well, you can't because that's that's infrastructure. We've already redefined it all. If everything is infrastructure, then it's going to be very hard to go in the other direction. Absolutely. And, and, and they will just change the terms then, Sean. That is the problem with this, you know, strategy. They're just continually moving the goalposts to be whatever they what, want yes. to be. But, but here's the thing. As I said, no one cares. I don't understand. No, number one, the White House, the idea that they're redefining these things is crazy. Two, the media is going along with it. But three, Republicans, get with it. Yeah. Start calling this out. They should be doing this big time because the idea that you can sort of just change the meaning of a word and no one knows, this is getting absolutely ridiculous what's going on in last year. I mean, first, people are changing the definition of all sorts of things and no one seems to care. After four years of hearing about how Trump lied about everything and that everyone in the administration was exaggerating this, not being honest about that, they get to do this yeah. and no one calls it out? Well, Sean, the thing is, they, they do, we talk about this often, but they do a great job of messaging and saying, how can you be against child care, Sean? How could you ever be against that? How could you ever be against COVID? People that need help. And they make a great case for themselves. To your point, Republicans need to step up and speak the truth yeah. and really expose things for what they are. You know, I, I want to pivot for a minute because we were talking about this at the beginning of the show, this violence that's going on. And it's become now far too often that we see this where there's an incident that occurs with police. And, and things get out of control. And in this case, this young man uh, was killed in Minneapolis, or outside Minneapolis, rather. Um, and one of the members of Congress, a 
tweeted about it, and it, it caught my eye because she was saying that this is inherently racist. Um, and and that, you, you know, I, I, you pointed this out at the beginning, though. The police chief in this, and if you watch the video, the officer um, says, you know, I'm trying to tase him. And, and she clearly, I, I, again, I, we can have a whole discussion about that, yeah. like whether or not how, how bad that got screwed up. I, right? Um, but it, it, is, it is just what is going on on, on policing is, is something that has got to be discussed in America because this member of Congress, as I said, now branding all of this racism. And, and where's this line? Well, I want to bring in Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul. So much to break down with him. Senator, thanks for joining us again. Yep, thanks for having me. Um, all right, sir, we just talked about this, that there were 50 protesters arrested last night in Minnesota because of the violence stemming from the killing of this young individual during this traffic stop, right? Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, though, tweeted this. This wasn't an accident. Policing in our country is inherently and intentionally racist. Senator, look, I watched this. I'm not trying to decide, you know, play judge and juror here, but according to the police chief at the time, the officer made a deadly, horrible mistake in how she reacted. But you can hear her saying, I'm going to tase you, I'm going to tase you. I'm not trying to get into uh, whether or not there needs to be more training. That's a discussion that we can have. But the point here is that I feel like We've kind of reached a boiling point where every time there's a mistake now, it's racist as opposed to potentially just a really bad mistake. Do you agree? You know, without making a direct comment about each of these different instances that are happening, I would say in general that I don't think that police are in general are racist. Many of our police chiefs, in fact, probably half of our police chiefs in our major cities are African-American. In many of our big cities, over half of the policemen are African-American. Um, look, when I was attacked by a mob in D.C. with my wife, two out of the three policemen who saved our life that night were African-American. Parts of the mob were African-American. We just need to get beyond thinking that everything's about race. Now, is there a police yeah. misconduct on occasion? Yes, and it should be punished and we should take care of it. Well, we shouldn't think that every policeman out there is basing their decisions on race. I think that is simplifying this in an incorrect fashion. We also have to understand it's a difficult, life-threatening job where police have to make decisions sometimes. And these people are saying we should defund the police or get rid of the police. I think that's uh, wrong-headed. And you're seeing some cities that have been on fire for months and months. That's what happens when you don't have police. And so I think people need to be very, very careful about this. But at the same time, I don't want to be insensitive to any of these individual cases. Also, don't know the details enough to be like a, a juror on a trial for any of the things that have been happening. There's so, so many things going on. And we do need to look at trying to, to make uh, policing better in our country. But we also have to be aware that we're losing police by the hundreds and hundreds in all of our different mm. cities. It's, we're making it such that are we going to have policemen left when we're done with this? If we so vilify and categorically say they're categorically say they're all racist, I think that's a, a very inappropriate thing for her to have said, and she ought to retract it. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.